that for a while. Wait for the timer for 10 minutes. Looks like a pH reading. Right, looks like we're sitting at about 5.28 pH. Which is whoop, going up a little. It's kind of stable. Yeah, there you go. Stopped at 5.29. More than happy with that. Juice and lime zest in there, and it smells fucking tremendous. too crazy in terms of flow. That's how cold it is in here, by the way. Um, uh, new camera. Uh, I'm editing with movie Windows Movie Maker, so bear with me. This is going to be a shit show. But, all right, so grain bill. Let me back up so you can actually see me. 55.6% uh, floor malted Pilsner malt. You can use Belgian Pilsner malt, whatever. Uh, I, I just had that on hand, so I'm trying to get rid of it. 29.6% uh, white wheat and 14.8% unmalted white wheat. Uh, water profile, I'll put down the, the bottom in the description. I'm not going to worry with that right now. Um, so boil additions were very simple in this beer. Uh, just, uh, let's see, at 10 minutes, 4 grams of Mediterranean sea salt. Uh, this is a Goza after all, so I want a little bit of that saltiness there, that salinity. Uh, some beers overdo it, some beers... You know, I think they're lying to me that they added salt. So uh, it turns out that that uh, well in the tasting, you'll see that it comes across in a good spot. I think uh, any more would be too much, and any less, you probably wonder if it was there. But um, some yeast nutrient also at 10 minutes, um, and then the only hop addition was uh, in form of a whirlpool uh, using brew one. I was trying to get a pineapple aroma uh, with before putting on actual pineapples. So, um, yeah, 30 grams of brew one at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, um, which only came out to about three IBUs. So pretty much no hops in this beer. It's mostly just for aroma. Um, two packets of Philly uh, sour yeast. Uh, in, in terms of fermentation, um, 67 degrees for four days. And then I bumped it up to 69 for about three or four days as well, just to make sure uh, fermentation was complete. Uh, I don't, know if I, I, I don't know if I mentioned already, this is a 4% beer. Original gravity of 1043, final gravity of 1013. So it's actually like 3.94, whatever, just rounded up to, to 4%. All right, anyways, that's that. Let's go pour this. All right, so please excuse the uh, celebra uh, celebration bottle. Obviously, it's not really a celebration. It's got a yellow cap, and you'll see that it has a totally different color. But um, I don't have my, uh, well, it's, first off, it's like, 42 degrees in here. I don't have my kegs in here at the moment. Um, eventually I'll get it out here. I was kind of waiting for the spring time. But anyways, I'll shut up and open this damn thing. Alrighty. Using my zero gravity glass. Hopefully this comes in, uh, there's gonna be a lot of like lens, or whatever the hell you call it. Lighting glare, but we'll, 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 we'll do with it. So it is uh, quite clear. I'd say it's a little darker than it appears. Oh, maybe not. 
Uh, it depends on the lighting, of course. And that's another thing too. I'm not gonna usually. I'm gonna do tastings in a different area. I don't. I don't mean to do it in the same room that I brew in. The lighting is a little bit too bright in here. But uh, if you look closely, the head actually sticks around for quite a while. Let me let me get that and zoom if I can. So sticks around for a while, uh, which is actually a little bit surprising. I, I see a lot of sours, or the minute you pour it, the head just disappears. That pulls a Houdini act. But yeah, looks quite nice. Um, like kind of like a straw, straw yellow color. Um, in terms of aroma, definitely getting that dank overripe pineapple from the brew one. Like before I transferred it onto secondary, uh, on top of the pineapple, the lime juice, the zest, and the jalapenos, it already smelled like pineapple. So I'm definitely gonna be using that brew one again. It's, it's killer, uh, especially I can I can see it going in a in a nipa. Obviously, a lot of people are using uh, that way, but. Pretty interesting using it in the Goza, I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, only one ounce, so you know, very small addition. I guess it, yeah, it looks somewhat similar in my glass than it does on camera, but you know, obviously a little darker in person, but looks, looks pretty sweet. The, obviously the head's kind of <laughs> disappeared as I was taking my phone call. Um, in terms of flavor, Like it definitely does have that, you know, wheat beer base. It is quite tart, not as tart as some sours I've had, of course, but I mean, it does the job. The Philly, the Philly sour yeast, you know, obviously you can't really dial in uh, the tartness like you could if you did a kettle sour, but if you want a quick, you know, easy drinking sour beer, uh, I, would, I would definitely use it again. I'm sure I will. Uh, I don't get any Belgian phenolics. Uh, like the dude from Homebrew for Life got. And the only thing I, I can uh, figure out why is he used one packet, so maybe his uh, you know, yeast was stressed out, created more of those phenolics, but I, I don't get any of that whatsoever. I mean, it could be masked with the lime and the, uh, the brew and hops, but you know, like I said, even before I transferred it onto those fruits, like it didn't, didn't smell that way, so, but, you know. Solid beer anyways, like definitely crushable, 4%. You can drink this all day long. It is pretty basic though. I mean, it's just a fruited goza. So it, it tastes like what I, you know, aged it on essentially. I can see coconut going with this really well. Maybe next time I'll, I'll try to use that instead of jalapenos or just um, increase the amount of jalapenos because that's another thing too. Like I, I don't get jalapenos at all in this beer in the aroma or the flavor. Which is probably a good thing, actually. <sighs> I might try to make this a little bit stronger next time. I mean, it is in a good spot, but I could see it being like maybe 4.5, 5% 5 at, at the, the top end. <sighs> but yeah, definitely happy with this. I would, uh, I will use this yeast again. Get a, try to get a close-up shot of this. I don't know what I'm doing with this camera at all. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But anyways, I'll end it there since uh, it's my first time doing this and I suck, apparently. <laughs> Hopefully better next time. Anyways, no amount. Thanks guys for watching.